Hey, welcome back to Unstoppable Warrior Tarot. My name is Tosh. This message will be for Gemini. All placements, cross watchers, cuspers are welcome. If the reading does not resonate with you, watch your other signs. Um, please know that we are all on different timelines in our life. So this may resonate with you past, present, or future. Just know that we all have divine will. Take and accept what you want, okay? Leave the rest. And I'm going to go ahead and get into your reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Okay, we're going to start off with uh, Angel. What's the um, Angel for Gemini spirit? What is the Angel for Gemini? What's the Angel for Gemini? So we have the Five of Thought. You actually got two angels and go within. All right, so five is about a major life change. Two, for some of you guys, definitely need to make a decision about making a change. This could be about children. This could be about um, a family of some sort, possibly. Um, some of you guys may be married as well, going through a divorce or a separation. All right, but the five of thought is saying the path you were on seemed like the right one, but now you run into a challenge. There is a better direction for you that will make you much happier in the end. Changes are necessary that you can get back on track. Avoid negative people who are draining or who will bring unwanted drama into your life, all right? So some of you guys may be detaching from people, uh, scoping people out as well, paying attention to things. Some of you guys may work with children or, you know, teach children or something like that. You may be spending more time with your kids as well. Some of you guys may have two children, all right? It says go within as your other angel. You are a very intuitive person, and there are many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside of you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer. There is no need to take action right now. Be patient with yourself, all right? So, uh, yeah, continue to use your intuition, all right? Some of you guys are ready to do something. You're just uh, trying to figure out how you want to do it. I do see you guys meditating more, staying prayed up at this time as well. Some of you guys could be in the church, going back to church. Some of you guys may work in the music industry or in a, work at uh, singing a choir. Okay, you may have your own, um, because I'm seeing this, this, this note in her hand reminds me of like a music note or like something like rolled up music notes. And then she has a Bible. Uh, what appears to be a Bible. So it makes me think of a choir director. So some of you guys may direct your own choir as well. As well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. You may, um, yeah. Something working with children for some of you. All right. But it's time for you to, to be quiet, remain silent, and just be patient with yourself. So spirit, that's what spirit is guiding you to do. Okay, I um, want to do your healing energy. Where is it? Oh, here's my card. Okay, let's see what the healing oracle is saying for Gemini. What's the healing oracle for Gemini? The healing oracle for Gemini. Okay, so we have freedom and release. All right, so some of you guys are ready to be free. You're ready to release yourself. Um, for some of you guys, you're ready to travel. I do see that as well. Uh, with release, it says, I stop fighting my fears and the hardships of life. I control my thoughts, live in the present moment, and accept each stage of life. I work on what I have power over and put into God's hands what I can't change. I trust that everything will work out for the best. Okay? Freedom. I realize my wounds create doubt, resentment, and guilt, so I work to free myself of darkness. I cast off negative thoughts, find peace in my heart, and discover the being of light within me. Okay? So you're maintaining, you're being more grounded, you're being more um, positive. Uh, some of you guys are being more understanding and forgiving at the same time, but at the same time, it's kind of like you want to be free. Okay. You're releasing yourself from negativity, from negative thought patterns as well. So I feel like what it, whenever you're, uh, 
that mind, that negative mindset comes to you, whatever person, place, or thing, you try to replace it with positivity, okay? So I feel like you're definitely growing, okay? Yes, you're growing uh, spiritually, okay? Emotionally as well, okay? Mentally, all right? So let's see what's going on with you guys. Let's pull some tarot cards. All right, so what's going on with the Gemini spirit? What is it that we need to know? What is it that we need to know? Okay, all right. So some of you guys, you have a new job that's coming in with the Eight of Pentacles. I do see you being very work, um, uh, goal-driven, okay? Uh, very busy at work. Okay, some of you guys are learning a trade as well. I do see a lot of stress and worry possibly around your job. There's a lot of anxiety here. Some of you guys have a lot on your plate, a lot of workload. Okay, you're not getting any rest from this from this burden here. Some of you guys are definitely stu studying, learning, uh, doing something new, but it could be a little difficult. Some of you guys are having a hard time sleeping at night. You could be staying up at night. Okay, uh, for some of you guys, it's because you're studying for school or you're working. Some of you guys are just working a lot okay but i do see possibly something going on surrounding a workplace okay that's giving you a lot of anxiety and drama but some of you guys you may feel like you're not making enough in this work in this job but you're trying to build you're trying to network okay and uh bring in more money some of you guys may be uh getting some kind of job offer uh that's going to bring in more stability so that's what you're working on at this time yep some of you may also be getting some kind of assistance, some kind of loan, okay, Section 8 housing as well. Some of you guys may also be going through uh, some kind of temporary employment, all right, mm-hmm, yep, but I do see you guys possibly um, going within, you showing up as the wounded warrior, okay, so for some of you guys, you may have had to... Uh, it's like you've, you've had to endure a lot in your life, okay, uh, especially in terms of finances. So for some of you, you've just been struggling a lot and you're just ready for new opportunities, I feel, to come towards you, okay? You're always going through some kind of constant battle or feeling like there is not enough, okay? Yeah. And there may be something going on at work that's just giving you a lot of drama and you're ha you, you're about ready to leave or give up on this situation. You're ready to close out a cycle. I do see forward movement as well. And I do see you guys going to be uh, graduating, okay, and taking up some kind of apprenticeship where you're going to be getting a job at this place, wherever it is that you're studying at, okay. But yeah, things are going to be looking uh, great for you, okay. Tell me more. Some of you guys may, may be involved in charity as well. With the Queen of Pentacles, I definitely do see a level up in your finances. For some of you guys, you may have a mother figure uh, that's coming towards you that may be uh, needing to give you assistance. Are you giving this person money or something like that? I do see big changes in forward movement coming ahead financially. All right, but there is a person here. You may work with this person. This person could be married as well that wants to come towards you, talk to you. All right, but there's somebody here is a little stressed about this. Okay. Somebody is stressed out over a relationship where they feeling breadcrumb. All right, but I do see somebody here possibly going through some kind of divorce or separation here. There was a tower moment, something happened unexpectedly or something was found out and you have to walk away from this situation or this person had to walk away from their marriage from a divorce to come in towards you to give you forward movement and give you uh, opportunity and love here. But some of you guys, you're dealing with someone that's... Uh, you know, uh, younger than you. Some of you may also have had some kind of childhood wounds with the Page of Cups in reverse, but somebody here is bad news, okay? Somebody's bad news. You have to leave this person, all right? That's for some of you guys, but others of you, somebody wants to leave or get a divorce or this is you to go be with somebody that they work with, all right? Some of you guys are dealing with someone that's locked up as well, okay? Yeah, this person is in grief. Or this person is sad over you. Some of you guys are dealing with someone that's uh, 
in deep regret and remorse that they lost you. Okay. Yeah, this person is heartbroken. They feel abandoned. Okay. Yeah. With the Nine of Cups, this person still has emotions for you. They still have the hearts for you. They're attracted to you. They find you as someone that's bold, courageous, uh, a leader, funny, optimistic, strong. Okay. Lots and lots of energy. Lots of passion for you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This person thinks you're sexy and you're unforgettable. All right. So for some of you guys, you got someone that's coming in to give you an offer. Okay, a uh, relationship, possibly take you out on a date as well. Some kind of invitation is going to be coming in, but this person could be, like I say, going through some kind of separation. But somebody from your past wants to have a comeback around that you found out about a third party for some of you guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the nine of wands? What's the nine of wands? Some of you guys are dealing with a Sagittarius, a Scorpio, Capricorn. All right, so somebody had a lot of options, okay? They were dealing with multiple people. All right, now this person is in deep regret over you. They don't want to give up on this relationship, all right? But there was somebody on the side that was in the middle of this uh, relationship that was waiting for this marriage or this relationship uh, to break apart. This person was waiting and watching, all right? But somebody here had multiple options and dealing with other people here. And for some of you guys, this is at work. Yeah, they were involved in the third party. This person broke your heart. Some of you guys may have had a fight, an argument, or a disagreement with this person. And now this person is very unhappy and they feel alienated by you. Yeah, this is somebody from your past. This person is regretting the fact that they didn't give you an offer, but you were dealing with somebody that was married or somebody is married here. This person sleeping around, this queen of wands. Some of you guys, this is a female, okay, that's sleeping around in this marriage, is getting around here, okay, but this person is still attracted to you. They still like you, okay, yeah. Some of you guys, this is a past person, somebody you've been knowing for a while, somebody from childhood for some of you, okay? But this person can't let go of the past and the happy memories that they've had with you, all right? Some of you may have lived in a home with this person as well, shared a home with this person. This person could be trying to reach out to you to communicate with you as well, okay? With the world, I do see you moving forward, okay? A lot of success and achievements, abundance coming your way. Some of you guys are about to travel as well. There's some kind of news or, um, yeah, you got news, communication coming towards you. You're going to be traveling for work. Congratulations. That's for some of you guys, okay? You could be dealing with a Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius as well. All right, the numbers 21 or 3 may be significant to you. All right, yep, I see four movements. Some of you guys, you want your freedom, okay? You're ready for travel, you're ready for adventure, you're ready to be at peace with oneself, all right? But I do see someone here taking a leap of faith towards you to bring you an offer here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, this person has emotions for you, okay? But this person wants to come in and sweep you off your feet. Okay, yeah, but see, the moon is here with the third party. So somebody here is secretly getting around and messing around with a third party here. Okay, so make sure that you are aware of if this person is dating other other people. Okay, yeah. But somebody here is fearful of moving on. Somebody is afraid to move on. Okay, from this marriage, from this home, uh, yeah, somebody feels betrayed in a marriage, but somebody's afraid to let go of it. This person could be fearful that you're moving on from them, okay, and possibly feeling some kind of betrayal in their own marriage or betrayed by you, but that's not your fucking problem. 
okay you're not going to stick around while somebody else is messing around in another relationship or this is you that's married and your person is feeling like you know they're getting a shitty end of the stick because you're still involved in another situation and you're not getting what you want in this marriage and this person is feeling breadcrumbed and out in the cold by you because you're not making the decision here but at the same time they don't want to let go of you okay they don't want to let go yeah you follow your intuitions this person could be watching as well they want to start a new beginning with you they're coming in with an offer or some kind of news great news this person yeah so i feel like whatever it is that's coming towards you this is definitely destined this is fated to happen this is a fated connection that's the truth with the ace of swords but this person is toxic and yeah this person could be juggling you as well they may have children or kids with you at the same time you're stuck in your head about this person because a part of you is addicted to them to their sex their looks okay something like that Okay, uh, you may even have a child with this person, but at the same time, you're stuck between your happiness and dealing with somebody that's toxic. But at the same time, they may make you happy, but you're addicted to them. But this is something that's bad. This person is not good for you. This is an unhealthy, toxic relationship. Okay, yeah. And with the King of Swords here, somebody got down to the bottom of the truth, okay, about somebody that was uh, toxic and juggling yeah okay i do see you guys uh possibly going back to school as well like i said but you're very busy at work you're working on your finances some of you guys are juggling multiple jobs at one time okay but for some of you guys this is an ex here that wants to have a comeback around to you okay this person wants to pick back up where they left off yeah but you're the magician you're the master okay yeah and i do see needing to make a decision about a new relationship okay there's a lot of competition here as well okay mm -hmm. <clears throat> so let's see what it what this person is saying what is this person having to say what is this person saying i'm planning on reaching out to you what else i dive in and out of relationships I'm afraid of commitment and I still have growing to do. Please forgive me. So you're definitely dealing with someone that's a player. Okay. This person still has other love options, other people that they still deal with. Okay. And you're just ready for new. You're ready to move forward. Okay. Sleeping with your cousin. Okay. Be careful. Somebody here could be sleeping with someone's relative behind your back. I want to take you shopping. Okay. What else? Chevy GMC Dodge. Somebody drives one of those vehicles, either you or your person. Looking at you online, saving pictures. All right, so this person is watching you, finding out. Uh oh, somebody's about to find something out. You may find out that this person is sleeping with your cousin, or they <laughs> they doing something with your pictures, saving your pictures. Somebody here could have faked the pregnancy as well. We have horse, all right? So some of you guys may have been born the year of the horse. You may actually have your own horse. But somebody here has a big you-know-what, okay? A big wand, camera, caught in the act, exactly. All right, so some of you guys are about to find something out, something on camera. Getting rid of evidence, uh-oh, lying on you. All right, so someone is lying on a person, getting rid of evidence. Something is caught on camera, and somebody's going to try to get rid of the evidence. Something is going to be found out, and it could be that somebody's sleeping with somebody you know, and it could be a relative or vice versa, okay? Bloodline sacrifice, all right? So some of you guys, mm-hmm. Some of you may have been born in some kind of like cult, okay? But uh, we have Deborah here. 
Deborah. A Deborah is someone that's sweet. They're nice. They're very gullible. Okay, this person could be very insecure. This person is someone that likes to be in love. Uh, this person may wear glasses. You may wear glasses. Okay, you may be dealing with somebody that's like a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. <clears throat> so this is either you or your person. Somebody's very gullible. Okay, and they get took advantage of somebody's taking advantage of someone's niceness, their sweetness. Okay, someone's yeah, make you have to be like you know, uh, somebody that's weak and that somebody can get over on. Okay, but you're not, you're strong, you're stronger than that. But somebody is playing on your emotions. Okay, I feel like this person knows that they can do that, or maybe you let them get away with something for. Uh, for a long time okay for some of you guys this is a Leo. i don't know why i picked this these cards up let's see what's going on i don't want to be in here too long tell me more spirit all right jump into conclusions Okay, be careful with arguments and disagreements with people at this time. Okay, keep an open mind. Be more patient. Okay, yes. All right, so some of you guys may be anxious to get something started. You're ready to get uh, the ball moving, something to get. You want something to continue to keep going, and it could be business-wise or something that you created or want to create. Okay, but we have love. All right, be careful with one night stands or jumping into relationships very quickly. Some of you guys that have been single for a while and you're ready for love, but don't, you know, jump to conclusions, whether that's good or bad. Uh, just get to know the person for who they are, okay? Uh, be careful with judging people. We have stillness, all right? So, yeah. So, love is still right now. For some of you, love is, is a little slow. It's coming slowly. Yeah. You may feel like you missed out on love or you missed out on something by jumping to conclusions or jumping into quick relationships. Okay. Just be careful with judging. Just observe what's happening. Okay. Yeah. What else? We have observed. Okay, exactly. Observe what's going on in your surroundings, guys. Some of you guys may live in a desert. But somebody that loves you is watching you. Be careful with, um, yeah, engaging into drama. Just let things be. Some of you guys, yeah, you stand to yourself right now. You're maintaining quiet. But, yeah. Somebody's watching you. Some of you may also be cleaning right now. You may work in the hospitality industry, cleaners, a maid, okay, magic janitors. All right. I do see you guys possibly um possibly dibbling into some kind of magic as well. You may have an altar set up. Okay, your ancestor altar could be set up here with magic and sanctuary. Okay, yes. Some of you may have been born the year of the rabbit as well. But I do see you trying to manifest love and you possibly watching someone that you're interested in or vice versa. Okay. Somebody could be watching you. This person wants communication with you. They want to talk to you. But they're not making any moves. They're trying to manifest. Yeah, you're following your intuitions. New opportunities coming in work-wise. So while, while love is moving slow, your money is coming in, okay? And you're going to be stepping into a season of more stability. So your money is definitely, is, is going to be an increase for sure. And I feel like you got a new job is coming. And you're going to be leaving a job out in the cold, okay? Yeah. Okay, don't let the past hold you back. Exactly, you're moving forward. Okay, take time to breathe out. 
some of you guys definitely need a breather. Some of you guys have been dealing with people, places, and things for a very long time. You definitely need a break. Some of you guys need to take a vacation, uh, go traveling or something like that. Get out into nature, okay? But you're ready to release. You're ready for your freedom. You're moving forward. But the past could definitely try to come back around towards you. Some of you guys may have asthma as well. You have difficulty breathing. Some of you guys may have some kind of cough as well. Nothing is yet set in stone. Yeah. So, yeah. You're not staying stagnant. You're going to continue to move forward. Don't. There's no need or... It, it's, it's like a waste to even... Wait on somebody from the past to act right, okay? And you may already know this. Okay, one second. All right, so we have entertainers. Some of you guys may be in the music industry, okay? You may work in film production, all right? You're destined to be famous, could already be famous, all right? The numbers 28, 82 may be significant as well. 10, okay, is the completion. So some of you guys are definitely completing out a cycle. All right. It says live in the moment over the top, playful joy and humor. Life of the party, fun, loving, enthusiastic, clever, expressive, and shock value. All right. So some of you guys may be getting ready to go to some kind of party, some kind of celebration. But again, some of you guys may be doing something in the music industry. Okay. Yes. And you're like the life of the party. People like you. They have a lot of fun with you. You're very expressive. You're a great communicator. Yes. Some of you also may be changing your look or your hair color, or something like that. Okay. Wounded healer. All right. Yeah, people feel like you're a very good listener as well, and you're very healing to others. Uh, and I definitely feel like you use your experiences or things that you went through as a learning lesson and it helps people. Okay. So you're, you're a great teacher as well. And you're very empathetic, but I feel like people try to play on, um, on, on who you are as a person. Yeah. All right, some of you guys may be served some kind of paperwork as well, or you may be going through something in terms of uh, court matters. Some of you guys are caretakers as well. All right, you may work in security or some kind of uh, police officer or something like that. You may also be getting a new credit card or uh, presenting the card. Some of you also may work at a hotel or go into some kind of hotel stay. All right, yeah. But you're a helper. You're a very um, empathetic, very caring, very nurturing person, and very, very compassionate, all right? And you look very sexy, handsome, okay, with maiden hair, but you're setting boundaries with people. You're cutting off toxicity. You're. Uh, I feel like you're in a carefree mindset at this time. Some of you guys look very young for your age. All right. But you're being empowered and you're being empowered for some of you guys to do something new. And this could be an entertainment, healing or um, educating people, caretakers. One more card, please. The number 60, six may be significant. Also eight or 44, 99. OK. Yeah, the number nine, pay attention to nines, but virgin. All right. So some of you guys, again, you could be virgins, but you may be dealing with a Virgo or you just been celibate for a very long time. Okay. Yes. But it's time for you to forgive and release. All right. And be more creative as well. Stay true to oneself. Some of you guys are focusing on your spirituality as well. You staying prayed up. Okay. But whatever it is you're manifesting and you're manifesting new opportunities to come in towards you. And that's exactly what's, what's going to happen. Okay. Yeah. But you're changing your life. Okay. Because you focusing on self-care and self-love is what's going to bring in love. Okay. So just remember that. All right. But be careful with people trying to steal from you, take from you. Okay, so yeah, somebody here could be yeah, going to court because somebody could have been feeling feeling robbed as well. All these weird noises. Okay, yeah. So be careful with someone trying to come in to charm you. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Whoever this is, this person is very clever. Okay. Yeah. A gambler. Some of you guys may be gambling at this time as well. Okay. Some of you guys may be been abused as a child. Okay. Yeah. Some of you guys are bosses. All right. And I do see somebody here possibly uh, leaving a job, walking away from a job and networking with other people. Okay. Yes. But somebody here feels like they're a loser. Okay. Yeah. Be very suspicious of someone with negative toxic energy. This person could have been locked up or been to the pen for something uh, that they've done in the past, in their own past with killer here. Okay. Somebody you need to be suspicious about. But I do see somebody here going under some kind of investigation or putting someone under investigation where you may feel like you were betrayed or stolen. Somebody stole money from you. Legal proceedings are definitely going to be working out in your favor. Okay. But somebody here is a gambler and uh, they like spending their money, but this person, whoever they are, they get lucky, but they are going to lose. Somebody's about to lose big time because they're gambling here. Okay. And I don't like the fact that I see a child here with, other things surrounding it. Somebody here is into some kind of trafficking as well. I don't want to get too far in this because it's going to be a long reading. Somebody's involved in, in some kind of trafficking here. Okay, some of you guys may be careful with your children. Pay attention to your children and their whereabouts as well. Put the tracking device or whatever you have to do. Or you may, something about a child significant. Some of you guys uh, also raise a child by yourself. But you may have a child who's sad. You may have an unhealthy relationship with a child. Or a child is having, having difficult times in the home with a parent for some of you. Okay, you may feel like you're at a loss with this. But I do see a boss here as well. Okay, and some of you guys are bosses, but some of you guys are working a lot and not spending enough time with your children. Okay, but pay attention to your children and their whereabouts. Okay. Okay, yeah, I do see somebody here anticipating, possibly thinking about moving, leaving the situation. There is a choice that needs to be made. Some of you guys may be going through immigration as well. Some of you guys may live overseas or travel abroad or your person does. I do see forward movement, but somebody here is not moving, okay, because they try to come out sideways, all right? Yeah, something may not go forward, but there is something about a third party that's keeping somebody stuck. I do see celebrations coming in, possibly at a distance with traveling here. Big changes and opportunities coming ahead. You're remaining hopeful and you're the master magician, okay? So you're changing things. You are the master. You have the gift of God, okay? Blessings and huge opportunities coming in. Some of you guys, this is a strong love connection that you manifested as well, okay? But I do see a change in direction for, you know... Somebody coming towards you with some kind of communication is going to be a wish fulfillment. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo or Gemini, Aquarius, like yourself. All right. Yep. There's a level up in your finances here. Okay. New new finances, new jobs, new opportunities coming your way. Lots of stability and abundance here. Why is the eight of uh, swords here? But some of you guys still feel restricted. You feel hopeless. You feel helpless. You may feel like... Your manifestation is not going to pay off, but it is, okay? I do see you hanging on to money very tightly here in terms of work, okay? But some of you guys may have to keep another job or keep two jobs just to keep afloat. But somebody also is going to need to be bailed out. Somebody may need uh, money, maybe need some kind of money to get bailed out, some of you guys may be dealing with someone that's locked up. But somebody feels restricted financially, but somebody also holding on to you and can't let go. Something is uh, de a deception here. What's the moon? You may be dealing with a cancer. Okay. Somebody's betraying you. Be careful with someone coming in to ask you for money. Okay. This person could be doing bad financially. But somebody's betraying you. This could be somebody at work or a third party that's betraying you here. That's stabbing you in the back, lying on you. An enemy, a hidden enemy here, okay, they're stressing you out, there's a lot of stress, but somebody, yeah, that's what they want to do, they want to stress you out, they want, I feel like, whoever these people are that's collaborating against you, they know that 
they may know that you like you're financially stable and they don't want you to have money okay yeah there's a lot of conflict and competition a lot of jealousy here but you really don't give a fuck about this for some of you guys you're healing you're moving forward okay these people can't light a candle to you fuck them okay yeah they're just trying to get all up in your business, but it's none of their business because with the Page of Pentacles, news, great news coming ahead. And with the Ace of Cups, new beginnings, new relationships. Some of you guys, this is an offer, a new relationship coming in towards you. This person can have a competition of the people that, you know, wants to be with them. But at the end of the day, you're going to be successful. New opportunities are coming in. I do see you socializing and networking with people as well. Somebody from your past is want to come back to ask you for forgiveness here. Okay, but you're divinely protected. Spirit is here protecting you and guiding you towards happiness. Okay, but I do see you spending more time with your family, your children as well. There is a wish fulfillment that's going to be coming in. Okay, yep. And uh, with the world, yeah. Marriage, happiness, success. Okay, there's definitely going to be forward movement. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close this out, guys. And so ask a yes or no question. You can pause the video. I'm going to pull two, three cards. Okay, pile one. Uh, I mean, card one, card two, card three. All right, what's card number one, Spirit, for Gemini? Yes or no? Card number one. <sighs> Card number one says, look for a sign and don't stop. What's card number two? Card number two, spirit. Child, one more card fall on this flow. <laughs> No need to worry. All right. Card number three. Card number three says the situation will improve. Okay. So that is all that I have. Gemini, thank you so much for visiting me. I'm Tashma Unstoppable. And I'll see you next time. Peace.